What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and as promised, it is the launch day of Legendary Undead, the Jetpack 7 Kickstarter, and I'm going to go through the Kickstarter main launch page. We'll talk about stretch goals, we'll talk about time frame, and some fun new things that are officially listed on there, for those of you who are curious. So, as you'll see right here, here is the goal. I'm also working with Jetpack 7 on top of just writing for the book. I'm also working to help on a variety of other things. So backing this does help support me, but it also helps support a great book that provides you a bunch of interesting options to make legendary undead realistically a thing, to make undead the way they should be in 5e. If you don't know who Jetpack 7 is, I've covered a variety of their content over the years, but one of the main things that a lot of people will probably recognize, especially with a name like Legendary Undead, was one of their more popular books called Legendary Dragons, and it did just that. It provided a bunch of legendary dragon options for you to use, and a variety of different other things, player options as well. So... Legendary Undead is the attempt to take what they did with Legendary Dragons and just port it over to Undead. Now, Jetpack 7 did listen to your complaints. One of the big complaints that a lot of people had regarding Legendary Dragons was it was very highly skewed towards the higher levels because who doesn't want to do the epic, imp, super awesome, evil dragons that are of super high tier level? So, as such, they did mostly those kinds of dragons. They heard your complaints that it didn't really work too well for lower level campaigns, and obviously not a lot of people necessarily get to play into higher levels. So they took that philosophy and also brought it down to include interesting monsters and legendary undead that cover other tiers as well. So it won't just be for those of high tiers. There will be some of those for sure, but you'll have undead spanning a variety of different levels here. So we can kind of just skip down and it talks a little bit about here what you can expect from this book, what kind of questions will it answer, the motivations for Undead, how and why are they created, um, where do they even come from in the first place. That's a pretty interesting concept to think about. Uh, and then again, as I said, we talked about Legendary Dragons there. There's also a variety of different player options here. One thing that they list here, again, what about becoming a party of vampires and leveling up together as a group of vampires? You can also see a variety of the cool art as we scroll through here. I really like this piece right here. This is one of my favorites. Uh, so who is this book for? It says, any GM new or experienced who wishes to add new undead antagonists and strategies into their games. A GM is looking for rich and well-sorted content, but does not have a lot of time to prep to add to their game. A GM is looking to challenge their players in new ways. We'll talk about that in a little bit. A GM looking for recurring memorable antagonists for their campaign or players who just want to have more undead playable options. What can you expect from Legendary Undead? Undead encounters covering levels 1 to 20, which covers the entire gamut, right? Undead encounters are divided into the various tiers of play. Lore and descriptions for each Legendary Undead and how to use them effectively. Again, something I often lament is the lack of 5e's lore rich content and motivations behind their creatures it's just kind of more or less a stat block with a blurb uh, again saving you prep time and one of the other things again listening to your feedback from previous jetpack 7 releases this will not be waiting around till the final pdf is ready to launch content will be trickled out in early content releases over the course of the book's production they are looking to deliver in october of next year the finalized PDF with the physical versions of these being delivered in December of next year. However, the early content releases will kind of trickle out over time to allow you to gain access to a variety of different things as things become available. So you're not waiting ultimately for that final drop next year. Get another new piece of art here as well. Uh, we mentioned uh, detailed and, and challenging for your players. It mentions right here about offsetting metagaming, right? If your players are used to all the undead options in something like, uh, you know, the Monster Manual, possibly even things like Monsters of the Multiverse, this will give you brand new options that your players won't know what to expect. They might hear a zombie and think they know what to expect, but this might be a special, unique zombie that's contained in this book that will drastically change the way things happen and the way combat flows. Uh, again, estimated book size is expected to be 150 plus pages. We'll see what the final count ends up being. All right, we see again, here are your pledge levels. So currently $10 will get you access to the pledge manager and your name printed in the book. There's also early, they're calling them early riser here because again, we're going with an undead theme, but basically your early bird access rewards here will get you a little bit of a discount. 
So normally just the PDF and your name printed in the book will run you $18. If you back within the next two days here, it will get you for $14. Again, that'll be 10, 12 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time will be the shutoff for that. So it'll be $4 cheaper. $38 is the PDF and hardback plus your name in the book level. If you back in the next two days, it'll be $32 as opposed to $38. And then lastly, there's the Grand Lich, which will get you the PDF, the limited edition hardback book, your name in it, and then two prints of your choice of any of the art that you see within. Whereas it'll be $10 off if you back within the next two days. As far as stretch goals go, only two are listed at the moment. One will be at 10,000, which will be unlocking one additional legendary undead. 15,000 will be another additional legendary undead. And you'll see a little bit of the creative team. A lot of these folks should, re you should recognize these. These are folks who have worked on a variety of different Jetpack 7 projects in the past. And also this guy. Who's that? That'd be me right here. And as mentioned previous, uh, previously, rather, my Necromancer class will be included in this book, which is a brand new level 1 to 20 class, which does my best guess and best attempt at making what we all want when we think of a Necromancer. Not that super poor showing that we have in the D&D 5e 2014 Player's Handbook. And we obviously also know Wizards of the Coast isn't updating the Necromancer going into the 2024 rulebooks. So if you're looking to play a Necromancer, your options are pretty limited. So I present to you my Necromancer class that'll do all of the things I hope you anticipate and imagine a necromancer does. But you know what? I'll take this as an opportunity. Sound off in the comments down below what you think about when you think of a necromancer. I think the main things, in my opinion, are reaping, soul reaping, death reaping, health reaping, assuming, you know, taking life force from things that have fallen, and then also raising those as sort of minions and minion mastery. That's what I think of when I think of necromancer. And I think my class is more or less ready to go so possibly one of the first trickle out content releases you might receive might be my necromancer class but i'm willing to take feedback so feel free to throw out ideas and comments down below and we'll see what we can possibly incorporate into this before it gets printed into the final book here uh again we talked about the timing we talked about the stretch goals and things of that nature so i think we've pretty much covered everything the last thing that i want to talk to all of you about Oh, look, we've already broke 5,000 while we were just chatting here, is what would you want to see in a Legendary Undead book, specifically from a player perspective, right? Monsters, obviously any monster and different variation in monsters is going to be pretty cool. But I'm curious what you guys would want to see from a player perspective, right? We talked about, and right thing that was mentioned here was the concept of leveling up as a team of vampires, right? Everybody wants, the, there are some very basic rules for vampires in the monster manual, but that's clearly an option and I'm providing the necromancer class, but what other kinds of things would you want to see? We also haven't seen too much in the way of undead classes or subclasses. We see a lot of undead, uh, all basically all tied to the warlock, two different undead classes or subclasses for the warlock. Would you be interested in seeing those for any other classes? Maybe an undead sorcerer? What about other player options as far as potentially race options go? What about like other benevolent undead? Would you be interested in seeing something like possibly undertaking the concept of lichdom, but from a good perspective, like being a white lich to be one that doesn't be, fall down, you know, the traditional lich path, some of that's actually good, just trying to prolong life for one reason or another? What about feats? What kind of things would be interesting? Equipment, magic items. Feel free to just sound off and throw ideas in the comments down below. I can't promise any of this will actually end up in the book, but it's definitely things I can take to the Jetpack 7 team and to the drawing board and see what kind of stuff we can come up with. And honestly, what better way to get out what you guys want than asking you what you'd like to see and then have you sound off in the comments and then we'll see what gets kind of the most likes so I'll say that too, right? If you see something that you like, whether it's something you type or somebody else does, make sure you hit that like button on their comment. And the comments with the most likes are the ones I'll try to bring forward to Jetpack 7. And hopefully in some form, we can develop them into something you'll see in the final product. I will have a tracking link down in the video description as well as the pinned comment. So you'll know if they'll, or well, Jetpack 7 will know if you've come from Nerd Immersion. So feel free to let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And I will see you all next time.